just want to start by thanking everybody for coming along to our citizens naming ceremony for the Julia Morrissey Bridge. It's very apt that we're here on Easter Monday, 107 years after the Easter Rising. Of course, Julia Morrissey was a commander during the Rising here in Galway. We launched the Julia Morrissey Bridge campaign one year ago when the announcement was made for the city's new pedestrian and cycle bridge. We were first out the traps to campaign for the naming rights. And shortly after, various representatives from the political establishment came out in support of other suggestions. All of these suggestions are in favour of naming the bridge after women, which is no coincidence. Clearly, we have set the tone in this regard. It's also worth noting that the women, the political establishment, are in favour of honouring, have already been fairly and fittingly honoured in Galway, which clearly indicates that these parties are scrambling around to find the name of a woman, any woman, to name the bridge after, except Julia Morrissey. So you might be wondering why that is. The answer is simple. Julia Morrissey was a Republican that stood for the vision outlined in the 1916 Proclamation and 1919 Democratic Programme. The vision of an All-Ireland Republic based on the principles of liberty, equality, community, justice, sovereignty and democracy. The unfortunate reality is that this Republic was crushed in a brutal counter-revolution which was led by the, the Irish capitalist class, bosses, big farmers, the church and a minority element of the Republican movement which was armed with British weapons. The success of this counter-revolution led to the creation of two pro-capitalist sectarian states both of which still exist today and both of which the political establishment are loyal to. That is why they do not wish to commemorate people like Julia Morrissey. But if we go back just seven years to the centenary celebration of the 1916 Rising, the great and the good from the political establishment were lining up to commemorate 1916. But now representatives from those, from those same parties have the opportunity to commemorate one of Galway's 1916 veterans and they're running away from it. She was forgotten during her life, and it seems that these parties want to ensure that she's forgotten going forward. But we will not let that happen. In fact, we haven't let it happen. Our campaign has shone a light on Julia Morrissey's contribution during the revolutionary period. And here today, we have named Galway's new bridge in honor of her. We have ensured that Julia Morrissey is belatedly and fittingly honored in her native county. The Julia Morrissey Bridge campaign has widespread support through our online petition, our work on the ground in our communities, and in gaining the support of various progressive groups and individuals. But we're not finished there. Our petition is still running, and we're asking people to sign it, if you haven't already done so, and to share it far and wide. We're also asking people to please get in contact with local political representatives, especially local councillors, and encourage them and put the pressure on them to do the right thing by formally recognising the Julia Morrissey Bridge. Together, we can ensure that Galway's forgotten coming among commander is finally remembered in her native county. Let's ensure that it does happen. Gurra